Sometimes it is required to disable the keyboard of your laptop. This is required when you are planning to use an external keyboard which at times you have to place on top of your laptop. And if you are doing this without disabling the laptop's keyboard, chances are that some unwanted keys will be pressed and it will give you some, unresum some unwanted results. And also if you are planning to give your laptop to some kids for watching videos or cartoons and yet if you are doing this without disabling the keyboard there are high chances that children will start playing with the, with the keyboard and will make things miserable for you. So the process is simple and it this can be done easily and quickly. Open the device manager. And when the device manager is open, you just have to find the keyboards. And uh, you can see there are two keyboards right now. One is the wireless keyboard and the other one is the standard keyboard. So the standard keyboard is actually the laptop's own keyboard. Just right click on it and click on properties click on driver and click on update driver on this screen just click on browse my computer for driver and then click on let me pick from a list of available drivers and then from this screen make sure that that this show compatible hardware is unchecked when it is unchecked, you will see a long list of manufacturers and their models. So you can select any manufacturer which is actually not the manufacturer of your laptop. And uh, for example, I click on Toshiba and on the model I click on Toshiba Japanese keyboard. And when I click on next, uh, a warning um, dialog message will be displayed. Just ignore it and click yes and close and close and it will say that your hardware setting has been changed and you must restart your computer for the changes to take effect. So do you want to restart your computer now? So right now I am clicking no but you can click on yes and after the restart, the keyboard of your laptop will not work. You can keep uh, this behavior as long as you want. And when you want to bring back your laptop keyboard, just repeat the same procedure. I mean, open the device manager. And click on keyboard. And on the standard keyboard, right click on it. Properties. Driver. And update driver. And browse my computer for the drivers and then click on let me pick and at this screen uh, right now make sure that this is this dialog box is checked show compatible hardware so don't make it unchecked and when you click on next it will automatically install your laptop's own keyboard thank you very much